Hello there, this is Apostle Jimmy Jumra, and we are now walking into our ninth year in ministry. We, God gave me the word transformation. In our eighth year, it was a new beginning. But now he's saying transformation. It's time for a complete change. The act or process of changing completely. God has a word for you on our uh, broadcast today. Check it out with transformation for our ninth year with Apostle Jimmy Jumra. Stay tuned. Morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I am Apostle Jimmy Jumra, founder of Jesus Delivery International Ministry and JDI Networks. And welcome to our ninth anniversary uh, service here on June the 27, 2021. Nine years in ministry. I am so excited that I just really couldn't wait. We got a lot of new things going on. And I remember uh, God normally gives me the word in April. And so this April, he said, sabbatical. I was like, okay, I'm usually hearing the word for the uh, anniversary. He said, sabbatical. So he sat me down for two months because of I had to get ready for birthing out this new year. I just want to say, praise the Lord, we made it for the ninth year. This is actually, because normally our anniversary might fall on the anniversary, but it normally does not. I usually have the ceremony between the 24th and the 27th. But this is the actual anniversary. We founded this ministry on uh, <clears throat> 2012, June the 27th, 2012. And the word for our ninth year is transformation. Transformation. I want to pray and then I want to get started with what God has given me just for you. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I thank you, Father God, for what you get ready to birth out or today. I've been having so many birthing pains, but it's the day of delivering, and we are delivering this ninth year to your people. You said transformation, and I'm going to give them what transformation is, and I want them to Hear your voice through my voice. Heaven come to earth right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are welcome on this broadcast this morning. You are welcome to speak through me to your people. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power is what we need on this broadcast this morning. Matthews 25, 14, it states, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. We will come back to that scripture 
And so we're going to, let's talk about the word for the ninth year. The word that I gave you was transformation. A thorough or dramatic change in form or appearance. As you can see, the music has changed. It has more power in it. It has a dramatic change in it. I have changed. I've been through a transformation. And it has been very challenging. But I made it. That's why I said we made it to the ninth year. You made it to your destination. And your destination is starting right now with your transformation. Time, the indefinite continuous progress of existing an event in the past, present, future, regarding as a whole. As I, we started this ministry in 2012, June the 27th, 2012. I remember that day in Richmond, Virginia. I remember I was so excited. I was so nervous and for my ordination service. Because when the ordination service was over, the ministry was founded. All that took place in one particular hours and it was hours but I remember being nervous I remember walking I remember praying I remember fasting I remember doing everything getting ready for this uh it was a transformation for me at that time um we had a lot of its ups and downs We've been going up and down. We moved here in Nashville, Tennessee in the latter part of 2016. So I had to pack up everything. I had to get rid of a three-bedroom house and come to this place uh, with nothing, basically. Whatever I can put in my car. God told me to put the house on the market. I got a contract in four days. It took a year to close, which those were the ups and downs. But he said, I'll tell you where to go. And it ended up being here in Nashville, Tennessee. So that's the ups and the downs. We did ordinations. Uh, in Richmond, Virginia, we did so many wonderful things, our classes, everything. It was so much birthed out in Richmond, Virginia. But it's been so much birthed out here in Nashville, Tennessee. So uh, we've been around the whole world. Uh, and we've been sitting here in the USA with the videos. God told me to do the videos and my ministry was somewhat different. And I remember listening uh, to Apostle Paul uh, the other day and he was telling the people uh, different ministries that he wasn't called to baptize. He wasn't called to do certain things. He was called to preach and teach the leaders. And that's what God has given me. Uh, people have been wanting me to do certain things. And God will move me from that environment and bring me back here. Because my mandate is to teach leaders to lead and birth out gifts. And today, we're going to birth out gifts within you. Now, 2021, we're still teaching and preaching the Word of God to His people with the broadcast and the TV ministry. So we are all on Roku TV with JDI Networks. We're getting other people to come in to use their gifts and their talents uh, of preaching and teaching and to bring people to Christ. And that's what we're going to get in today. Um, 
the birthing out, and the gifts and the talents. The future is open with more of God's plans, and they are great. Yes, he has given me vision. He has told me what I need to do next. And I'm waiting on everything to line up so I can do what thus said the Lord. As we transform to more of God's greatness, he would like to, he would like me to help you with your transforming or transformation on your gifts. So I have, uh, have you heard of the story of the parable of the talents? Have you? And we're going to go in Matthews 25, 15 through 30. Because today on this broadcast, you're getting ready to learn how to birth out the gifts that are within you. God got greatness for you. And I am here to help birth it out. That's what he has placed inside of me. The anointing to help you to birth out was already inside of you. He created you before the foundation of the earth. He had you in his mind. And then he birthed you out in a certain time, a certain year, a certain month. So he wants you to hear him this morning. Hear his words in the word of God, in the book, Matthews, chapter 25, 15 to 30. So let's go there right now. We started off in the beginning as in 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling in a far country who called his own servant and delivered unto them his goods. So we are traveling right now. In the book of Matthew, chapter 25, 15 through 30. We're getting ready to travel right now. And God is giving you his goods. And so, 15 it says, And unto one he gave five talents. God might have given you five talents. And to another he gave two talents. God may have given you two talents. And to another one talent. To every man according to his servant. A se several ability. And a straight, straight way took his journey. So if you look at our. Um, what is it? The. Um, Gifts of the Spirit is nine of them. And the Holy Spirit is the one that gives the gifts. And so, right, and he gives it to the ones that, like I said earlier, God created each and every one of us. He know what's inside of us. So he know what gifts to give to us. Here it's talking about talents. God know how many talents he has given you because he created you. So today, I want you to hear the Holy Spirit speaking to you to let you know how many talents have he given you. Did he give you five? Did he give you two? Or did he give you one? Think about your passion. What you really love doing. And write that down. And God is getting ready to show you something. Within this message. And within my vocal cords. So 
16, then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. So the one that had five talents, he went, he received his talents, he traded, and he gained five more talents. And likewise, he that had received two had also gained other two. So the one that received two, he picked up two more talents. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. First it talk about money, talents, then it talk about money. Now, God might have given you one talent. What did you do with it? Are you doing like this one? You went and hid it and said, oh, I don't have no talents. And just follow behind somebody else instead of doing what thus said the Lord with what he had given you to ha learn how to increase. You need to hear what thus said the Lord this morning. 19, after a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoned with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou delivered unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. God gave you a, I'm going to use me for example, a gift of painting. That's a talent. And I used that, and I used that, and I used that. And then all of a sudden, something else birthed out. Something else birthed out. These videos birthed out. I create these from scratch. But if I hadn't used what God gave me, look and look what he did. He increased. He kept increasing and kept increasing. What is it that God has given you that you are not using? Are you sitting back and saying, oh, whoa, it's me? Or are you ready to use what he has given you? I don't care if you haven't used it in years. You getting ready to do it now, and I don't care how old you are. Use what God has given you so you can receive the increase like this one here with five talents, and he increased it to five more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou has been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. God is pleased with you when you use what he has given you. And he will increase. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou delivered unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou unto Thou joy of the Lord. God is pleased. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hate, a hard man, reaping where thou had not sowed, and gathering where there has not start straw. And I was afraid and went and had and hid 
thou talent in the earth, lo thou there thou hast that is thou. This one here is talent. Are you like the one that's hiding? Are you hiding what God has given you? Are you? This is what the Lord is telling you today. Woohoo! His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, Thou knew it that I reap where I sow, not and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received my own with usher. You take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which has ten talents. For unto every one that has shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that has not shall be taken away, even that which he has. And cast ye the unprofitable servant unto outer darkness. There shall be reaping and gathering and um, gasping of teeth. This is what God is telling the one of you all that are out there that is taking the talents that God has given you. He is telling you, if you don't use it, he's going to take it away and give it to someone else that has been using their gifts and talents for his glory and for his purpose. So whatever you're doing right now, stop. It's time for your transformation. Transforming the old person unto the new. God is talking to you right now. Which one do you want to be? Do you want to be the five? Do you want to be the two? Or do you want to be the one? He's asking you that question. Because this message that you clicked on is for you. He's talking to you. He says transformation. And we talked about transformation. And I got a little bit more. Transforming you from life and not death. You see, when I was going through those two months, the devil was telling me in my spirit, you're going to die. And I said, no, I'm not. He kept saying, you're going to die. I said, no, I got work to do for the Lord. And for his people. And I remember an apostle had texted me about something totally different. And I told him I wasn't doing that good. And then I said, just pray for me. And I think he prayed. And he said, I need to speak to you. And so I called him. We talked. And he knew that it was something desperately wrong. Because, you know, I was on this medication, and I kept getting weaker and weaker. And I was getting, my uh, left side went tingling, and my eyes went out, and my, all kind of things were happening. The enemy was trying to take me out, because I needed to birth this message out for you today, to help you to move forward forward in what the Lord has just for you. I want you to use the talents that God has given you so it can multiply. So he can say great and faithful servant. He wants you to live
for him. So when you use what he has given you, you are glorifying God. And all he's going to do is give you an increase. Increase of his glory. Now, transformation, the act or process of changing completely. You want to change completely. I've changed. My body changed. I'm healed. In Jesus' name. The prayers went up. The healing. Now this apostle that called me is a healer. God's giving him that gift. And that's why he said, I need to talk to you. Because he needs to hear my voice, not just texting. Because God was speaking through him. And letting him know, we got to push up. He said, oh no, you ain't going nowhere. We got work to do. I said, amen. So, you ain't going nowhere. You got work to do. It's time for a complete change. Whatever that you are doing that is not pleasing to God, he said, it's time for a complete change. Let's seal this message with communion. And we're going to go to 1 Corinthians 11. 23 through 26. I'm going to cut it down now uh, because I want to move this along. Thank you, Jesus. 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 The Lord's Supper. Father God, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I thank you, Jesus, for sitting on the right hand of the Father, for sitting on the throne in heaven, interceding for each person that click on this video. I thank you, Father God, for this communion that we get ready to have today. We're going to commune with you. And I ask you right now, to search our heart, our mind, and our spirit. Anything that's unworthy to take the, the cracker or the bread that represent your body, remove it right now in the name of Jesus. Anything that's in within us that uh, will prevent us to take the wine or the juice or the water, whichever the people have, I ask you to remove it right now in the mighty name of Jesus so we can be worthy to take these condiments. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you in Jesus' most mighty name. This is our ninth anniversary and we're getting ready to seal this message with communion. We are in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 and we're going down to 26. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And what I have here is cracker. And 24, it says, And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take Eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. So we're going to thank the Lord. We're breaking it and we eat. Eat together. Twenty-five. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. So this is representing the blood of Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood on the cross. I plead the blood of Jesus all over from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. 
Thank you, Jesus. Drink. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise. And we thank you, Jesus, with the highest praise. 26, for as oft as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. So we are showing the Lord's death until he comes back as we do this. And you can take this, I remember saying on a previous video, if you're feeling ill in your body, take communion. If you don't have anything in your house, you have some bread and some water, take communion. Commune with the Lord. You take that water, plead the blood of Jesus over your body, your healing, and thank him, glorify him for what he is doing. I want to close with our um, our um, Arianic blessing, the blessing, the priestly blessing, and it comes from Numbers chapter six, uh, uh, verses twenty-two through twenty-seven. And I'm reading this today in the King James version. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying. Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise, ye shall bless the, bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and, and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace, shalom. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. God bless you for taking your time to see our ninth year of ministry message. It's powerful. We are going in power from the Holy Ghost. This is Apostle Jimmy Jumra founder of Jesus Delivery International Ministry and JDI Network. May God bless you richly. This is Apostle Jimmy Jimra and I hope you enjoy our ninth anniversary message on transformation. It's time for a complete change. And I pray that you will continue on listening to our messages so you can see what God is birthing out in you within this ministry. Again, this is Apostle Jimmy Jumra with our ninth year message on transformation. It's time for a complete change. God bless you. Thank you.